Hello and welcome to another tutorial of JavaScript. In this tutorial we will be learning how to work with an if condition in JavaScript. As you might have learned in intro to programming classes or any of the classes in which you would have learned how to do pseudocoding, that an if condition is used to make a decision. And there are three possibilities within an if condition. One is a simple if with no alternate. If you have two alternates, it's defined as if and an else. If you have more than two alternates, then you have if, else if, else the structure. And else if a structure can be repeated as many times as you may like, but there will be only one if and there will be only one else. In this example, we will going to start out with simple if condition, and then we're going to build on uh, several other examples on if condition so that you're clear on this concept. So I've just set it up the skeleton for this example, and as we have learned before, we will be declaring variables like using var. And I'm declaring another variable. If I would like to compare these two variables to see which one of the two is greater, I can be writing an if condition that will be performing the comparison between these two. But before we learn the comparison operator, we, before we learn how to do comparisons, we must learn the comparison operators. There are six comparison operators in JavaScript, and this is how these comparison operators are written. We have a greater than operator, we have a less than operator, we have a greater than equals to, we have a less than equals to, we have a not equals to, which is written with an exclamation mark, and equals to comparison operator is written with two equals to signs. So that we can differentiate between an equals to that is an assignment operator versus an equal equals to that's a comparison operator. In some of the other languages, they may overload the equals to operator as a single equals to, and depending on where it is being used, the programming compiler will going to decide what is the nature. But here in JavaScript, we have different operators for assignment and different operator for comparison. So I would like to compare the two values to see which one of the two is the larger. So I can be writing an if condition, if, parentheses, the first variable is greater than the second variable. Then throw an output onto the screen. Document.write. Number one is greater. So now if I go ahead and run this example. The output will going to be turned out to be nothing, as you can see over here. Why? Because I said if number one is greater than number two. And as you can clearly see, that number one is not greater than number two. Therefore, no output is being displayed. Now, let me change their values around. Let's say if I make this a 30, save it, and refresh. And now you can see number one is greater. So if condition checks the condition. If the condition is true, only then it will going to execute the body. If the condition is false, it will not going to execute the body. Therefore, in most cases, we must write an alternate approach so that we do not run into a problem that we just ran into, that there was simply no output and the user wouldn't know what really happened here. So we have number one is greater because the number one is now greater than number two. So if I change this back to a value of 10, once again, as I refresh, no output. So in this case, we'll write an else statement. Otherwise, if number one is not greater than number two, then the only possibility is that number two is greater. So as I now refresh, you will gonna see number two is greater. But if I change my values around, let's say if I make number two a value of two and I refresh the page, now it says number one is greater. So an if condition always checks on the given conditions. Else pretty much mean anything that is not true based on the conditions above. Now next we would like to move on 
to an if else if structure. In the same example, if number one is same as number two, let's say if both are um, set to a value of 10, then it still says number two is greater, which isn't true. So I'm going to say else if number two is greater than number one, then it makes sense to say number two is greater. Otherwise, just simply say they are the same. Number two is equal to number one. So as I go back and refresh, now it says number two is equals to number one. If I change any of these values around, then as I refresh, it will going to act accordingly. So basically, an if condition lets you execute a portion of the code based on an incoming value. Sort of kind of gives you branching in your code that if, if the code is following a certain area, only that code will going to execute. All the other branches will be ignored. So it's a very powerful tool to be used. And as we will going to start building on these examples, you're going to see more and more of this stuff. Now, one more thing before we um, continue on to the next example, <clears throat> and that is, if only one statement is associated with an if condition, then using the opening and the closing curly braces, which defines the block of the if condition. What block means is, this is the code that we're going to execute if this if condition is true. Writing these curly braces becomes optional if there is only one statement associated with a condition. Even if you write it, as you have seen, it will not going to complain about it. But even if you drop it, it will not going to complain about it. But, however, my code will going to look a lot simpler. For example, if I run it now, let me change the values back to 10 and 10 so that you could see the change in output. And as I refresh, the code still works just fine, just the way it was working before. However, remember, you can only use this if there is only one statement associated with a condition. If there are more than one statements associated with a condition, then you must use the opening and closing curly braces. Well, that's all for now for this tutorial. We'll continue to work with an if condition in our next tutorial. See you soon.